Hello and welcome. I wanted to share with you my experience with the Elgato Keylight Air. I think it's a wonderful light. It's the one that you can see here on her desk. She's got two of them. Generally, you want one from each side coming at a 45 degree angle to help reduce some of the shadows that are cast by your face so that if you have a green screen, you'll get a much better experience. I am only running the one light. They're $260 with tax Canadian and a three-year warranty, which was $30. So yeah, $260 in total or $230 Canadian just for the one light. And I have it right above my 43-inch television. So let's just go ahead and uh, watch this little kip, clip real quick. So that's where you attach the, uh, the power, right behind the panel. You got this little metal ball, extremely sturdy construction. It's absolutely amazing. Then you can tighten it with this here. It's also got the uh, cable management uh, that runs down the uh, metal post. You can adjust the height. And like I said, for mine, I've got a big, massive 43-inch television. And on top of that, with the legs, my TV is elevated another three or four inches. Then I've got the webcam on top of my TV, and I still have a good clearance. I could have gone up even higher. So you can get some good height out of this thing. Now we're going to do a couple of tests. So now that I showed you the product, you could see me in the corner. I'm running a green screen because I wanted to show you that just to get started, you don't have to have two of them right away. Now, is the quality perfect? Can you see a little bit of a static or, or fuzziness around here? Look what happens. You don't have enough light and you create a shadow. You see that between my hand? See how it's like it's all dark right in there? That's what happens when you don't have proper lighting. It's also Wi-Fi. You can control the lighting from the app that you'll download on your computer, and you can also have it on your phone, and it looks the same. It's free on iOS and Android. You can just slide the color, temperature, or the actual brightness. I was really distracted there in full screen, and I didn't end up showing the actual UI. So the color temperature here that you're going to see coming up, it goes from 7,000 all the way down through the different uh, colors there that you can sort of kind of see and go all the way down to like a more reddish, brownish color at 2,900K. Like I said, all the way to 7,000. And then the brightness goes from... 3% all the way to 100%. I tend to keep mine around 30%. So sorry about missing showing you that. You can also turn off the light from there. Or there's a switch on the back. And like I said, the app is 100% identical. Okay, so let's start off with uh, all the way down. It's 3%. See all that distortion or whatever. Now that's just running uh, a regular 10 bulb, 10 bulb, 10 watt bulb on my ceiling. We could turn it all the way up to 100. It's insanely bright, but as you could tell, it helps a lot. I normally leave it at about 35. You can go all the way down to cool, 7000K. I'm going to go in small increments here. It makes a big difference. This isn't changing the brightness now. This is just the uh, color temperature. You can see what it does. It's pretty incredible. So 2900K all the way to 7000. I usually have it around 6000. That's just my personal preference. Again, you can turn it off completely. Turn it on. You can restore it to uh, factory defect, uh, defect. Factory default when you power on the behavior in case you want to bring it back to where it was when you first got it. And that's uh, pretty much it. What I will say is this. If you're not going to be doing a green screen and you're just going to light up your area while you're playing, you're streaming, you're doing whatever. I don't know that you need to go this far with the light. I had a $20 Walmart lamp yesterday and a $6 Philips LED bulb. It was fine. 
for lighting me up and I looked pretty good. I mean, I don't look good to begin with, but I mean, overall, in terms of quality, I didn't really look that much crappier. I do look a little bit cleaner with this light, but do you want to spend 20 or $30 or a couple of hundred? There's a huge difference. However, if you want to start with the green screen and you really want to get into it and you want the production of that to be top notch, then I absolutely do recommend getting a light that's this expensive. And as you can tell, it's not perfect. There's a little bit of defects there. Like I said, like if you look around my headphones and my face, it's not perfect. There's a little bit of shadow again, you know, gets distorted. But I think this is great to get you started. Quarter of a grand, like I said, Canadian with taxes in a three-year warranty. Get it in the middle, even though, like I said, you generally want them coming at you on a 45. I can't do this on the camera. It's reversed on a 45 degree angle. You can always pick one up later. There is a uh, older, bigger brother to it, and it's like really big. This one's only about, you know, this wide, this tall. It's like a little dinner plate. It's really not that big. Uh, I could probably barely fit my Logitech C920, two of them side by side, and that would be the width of that light. It's a perfect square. I just absolutely love it. And even if I didn't do the uh, the green screen, because I really want to invest in YouTube and really get the best, even if it's like 10% better, 20% better, than a regular light if you're not doing a green screen, I still want to go above and beyond. So I would still purchase it regardless, but I wouldn't really recommend it. I just don't see the point to invest this much money in a light if you're not going to green screen. Really. But if you're a streamer, you're a YouTuber like myself, you're making some cash every month, then I probably would. Uh, people are noticing a difference from even just using the regular light bulb with a Walmart lamp over this. So, you know, how far do you need to go? You got a Cadillac or a BMW. Those are nice cars. But do you need to go up to the Mercedes Benz? And then if you go up to a Mercedes Benz, what's next? You're going to get a Bentley Azure. And then what's next after that? A Rolls Royce and all this kind of stuff, right? Like, where does it end? To me, this is like the Bentley or whatever of lighting, like it's, it's up there. Like I've never seen anything like it. Anyhow, I wanted to give you a quick demonstration, show you a hands-on, how decent it is with just the one in the middle for a green screen. And that's pretty much it. If you happen to have any extra questions, I mean, I'm not too sure what I could answer for you, but I'll do my best to answer them. And I will have a link down below to uh, the website that goes into maybe a little bit more intricate detail about this light. And uh, that's pretty much it. So if you liked the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs down. I'll make sure the next time you turn on your light and you're about to have a nice little stream, I'll take my phone. I will use the app. And when I turn on the brightness on Max, it actually like disintegrates you completely. You're just, you're gone. All right, that was cringy. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, naturally that would be great. But if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care, boys and girls, or whatever it is you identify as. And hopefully I'll see at least some of you in the next video. Bye now.